Sporting Mariner, Peter Scudamore. Seven, Battlefield Band, Martin Brannan. Eight, Red Rocky, Mark Pittman. Nine, Mr. Pitt, Richard Dunwoody. Ten, Bob Tisdall, Chris Grant. Eleven, Accuracy, Tony Charlton. Twelve, Emo Forever, written by Ronnie Began. Thirteen, Quadigar, Graham Badley. Fourteen, Celtic Time, written by Clive Cox. Fifteen, Gallant Buck, Simon Sherwood. Seventeen, Y. Lee, Tom Morgan. Eighteen, Brigarona. Peter Nevin, 20, Hapney Knapp, Jeff Davis, 21, Cocaine, Carl Burke, 22, Ace of Spades, Miss Tanya Davis, 23, Charlie's Cottage, Michael Bilby, 25, Mr. Dibbs, Ben DeHaan, 26, Miss Nero, Guy Landor, 27, Eamon Zowin, Jackie, Jackie Oliver, 28, More Hopeful, John Brown, 29, Annex, Richard Rowe, 30, Dew, Nigel Coleman, 31, Roman Dusk, Paul Dennis. 32, Bronze Effigy, Bruce Darling. 33, Down Flight, Peter Corwell. 34, Bar War, Sean Keatley. 35, Puna Express, Michael Meir. And 36, Turner and Red Rocky, 14 to 1. On 16 to 1, and moving out, Accuracy, Turn, Ace of Spades, and Celtic Time. 20 to 1 bar. And the money there for Sporting Mariner just going out to the right of the picture there with those big yellow chevrons trained by Martin Pipe. Martin who said he'd rather be at Newton Abbott today because he thought he was going to have three winners. But, <laughs> well, that remains to be seen. Sporting Mariner, good staying horse, formerly with Guy Harwood on the flat. He wasn't a dear purchase, 7,000 quid. I think I saw him sold for up at Doncaster Sales. And he has done his owners proud since then. He's owned by Cradell Limited, who've had no end of winners from the few horses they've had with Martin Pike. 14 to one shot, Peter Skew in the saddle. The other horse that was back considerably there is there, number eight, which is Red Rocky, the blue colors. He came in from 20 to one down to 14s at the last show. A good winner at Chepstow last time out. In fact, he was the lesser fancied of two Jenny Pittman runners on that occasion. 14 to 1 shot now, was 20s only a minute ago. I wish you luck, and I wish Peter O'Sullivan luck. Thanks, Richard. Yes, being uh, called in. And they're away, and accuracy, often uh, dodgy at the start, has jumped off all right with them. Mr. Pitt and Annex and Y. Lee among those uh, showing early on as they come towards the first flight. It's Wiley who's taking it up from Mr. Pitt and Annex. And Mr. Dibbs just in behind them, and Ace of Spades, and then comes Gallant Buck behind. Gallant Buck is Charlie's Cottage. And all 31 jump the first all right. Mr. Pitt and Wiley disputing it. Just ahead of Annex, and then comes Mr. Dibbs and Gallant Buck and Bob Tisdall and Ace of Spades. Behind them come Down Flight and Sporting Mariner. And then Charlie's Cottage. The uh, back markers, they look right back through the field now. Jubilee Lights, a back marker with Puna Express also and more hopeful. So they turn to run left-handed, make their way towards the second. Wiley and Mr. Pitt from Annex, then Gallant Buck and Ace of Spades and Mr. Dibbs. Then comes Sporting Mariner on the inside, down flight on the outer with Charlie's Cottage. Bob Tisdall up with them. Wiley at this one. Lands just in the lead from Mr. Pitt on the inside. Emma Forever jumped it a little bit slowly in rear. And it's Wiley from Mr. Pitt Mr. Dibbs, Annex on the inside, Charlie's Cottage right on the outer, and up with them is Miss Nero as they race down towards the third flight. There are 13 in all this time. Y. Lee from Mr. Pitt, Mr. Dibbs on the outside, Charlie's Cottage, Mr. Pitt and Annex. And just in behind them, Turn, who's made a little bit of ground towards the lead. Gallant Buck's not far off the lead. Wiley is the leader there. Wiley, as they come to the fourth. Wiley lands in the lead. Going up to join them is Bar War, as they race towards the top of the hill. Wiley by about a length and a half from uh, Barwar and Mr. Pitt on the inside. Then Mr. Dibbs and Charlie's Cottage. 
And just in behind them, Annex and Miss Nero. As they come down to the next, Wiley from Barwar and Mr. Pip. Then Mr. Dibbs, Annex, and Withy Bank towards the outside in about ninth or tenth at the moment. Barwar and Wiley from Charlie's Cottage as they jump the sixth. And Eamon, Eamon's own has come right up there to join him on the inside. Or rather, Wiley's got the inside off him and it's Wiley from Eamon's own now. Then comes Mr. Dibbs and Balwar and Turn, who's made good steady progress behind him, Annex and Ace of Spades, Mr. Pitt and Charlie's Cottage. Then comes Miss Nero and another complete circuit, Wiley. Wiley and Eamon Zoen. These two ahead of Turn in third. Just behind turn is Mr. Dibbs on the inside of him, rather, and Miss Nero going up on the outside, then Bob Tisdall, then Accuracy has made progress, Withy Bank is next, Bar Wars lost a bit of ground, Sporting Mariners making it on the inside, Jubilee Lights is the back marker, Wiley is the leader from turn, and Amons Owen as they come down to the eighth. Amons Owen on the outside, goes right up to join Wiley, turn very close to the lead. Miss Nero on the outside. And uh, a faller there was more hopeful. More hopeful went at that one. As they go to the ninth, turn right up there now with Wiley and Miss Nero on the outside. As they come down to the next, Eamon Zoen is fourth. Miss Nero and turn and Wiley, these three now, Withy Bank towards the outside. Charlie's Cottage still well in contention, Accuracy not far behind the lead, Down Flight is making good progress. Then Celtic Time towards the outside making good ground too. Coming to the next, four from home and there, turn a fall up. Turn, a faller at that one has left Wiley in the lead from Withy Bank on the outside, Charlie's Cottage, then Accuracy. Then comes Celtic Time, still making ground. Sporting Mariners in the picture, Taberna Lord and Quadagare also. But it's Wiley with the advantage as they run downhill now. Wiley from Withy Bank, Accuracy, then Charlie's Cottage on the inside. Quarter gear on the outer as they run down to the next. This is the third from home. Wiley, Charlie's Cottage, Withy Bank, Quarter Gear and Accuracy. Taberna Lord still making ground just in behind the leaders. But it's Wiley with the advantage from Quadagare now, Sporting Mariner between the two as they come to this. And uh, Quadagare, a faller there, has left Sporting Mariner in the lead. It's Sporting Mariner now from Wiley to Bernalord. Lord. Is third, in fact, going into second now to Berner Lord for Jim Wilson. It's Sporting Mariner from Taberna Lord. Sporting Mariner to Berner Lord. To Berner Lord, the top weight coming to take it up at the final flight. To Berner Lord lands just in the lead from Sporting Mariner. Wiley, third Emma forever is fourth, racing into the closing stages. And it's to Berner Lord and Luke Harvey on the near side. Sporting Mariner and look and. Peter Scudamore on the far side, Sporting Mariner's fighting back, but Taberna Lord is going to win it as they come to the line. Taberna Lord has won it, Sporting Mariner is second, Emma Forever has got up to be third, just ahead of Wiley, and then came Accuracy and Bob Tisdall. And so the result of the Coral Golden Hurdle final. First, number two, Taberna Lord, owned by Mr. Roger Jackson and Mrs. Celia MacDonald, trained by Jim Wilson here at Cheltenham and written by Luke Harvey. Second, number six, Sporting Mariner, owned by Craydale Limited, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Peter Scudamore. And third, number 12, Emma Forever, owned by Mr. A. A. McCluskey, trained by Peter Easterby and written by Ronnie Began. Fourth was the long-time leader, number 17, Wiley. So Jim Wilson, 
retains his amazing record in the Coral Golden Hurdle Final, which he won no less than uh, three times here on uh, Willie Wapkins. Successful now as a trainer with this top weight to Bernard Lord, who finally won it in great style.